I'm a U.S. Senator, IRL? Wait, okay, which Senator? Which Senator? There's a right answer. Well, there's like a less wrong answer. You Chuck Grassley motherfucker, Dairy Queen, bathroom destroying piece of shit. Chuck Grassley, what are you doing in here, you motherfucker? <laughs> Chuck Grassley, you old, you old ass. <laughs> I'm not flaming, I'm just saying. What's the, I remember Rob was telling me, what's that Chuck Grassley thing? He keeps tweeting like, I'm at Dairy Queen, you know what that means, winky face or something like that. And then it turns out that, like people started asking him like, what does that mean? And he's like, it means I'm eating ice cream. It's like a, like a 90 year old man's idea of what it means to be quirky. Everyone was like, you know, if, if like a 30 year old man tweeted like, I'm a Dairy Queen, you know what that means? They would be arrested in like 30 seconds. When a 90 year old man does it, they're just like, he's just kind of, he's eating ice cream. He's probably eating vanilla ice cream right now. 99 of my 90, 91 of my 99 annual county meetings completed for the 41st time. You know what that means. It's like, it's, oh no, time for you know what. It's so good. People are like, what is you know what? Is going to Dairy Queen to eat some ice cream. It's so good. It is funny because you're not wrong. Dairy Queen is like not good. Although a blizzard kind of goes hard and the, the chicken strip basket has a certain, a certain quality all of its own. This could be a tree as well. I know we got another tree spot, but like... Let's just, no reason to make any enemies here. Might as well leave it. But again, I haven't had a chicken strip basket at Dairy Queen for 15 years, because every single one takes 15 years off your life. So I'm like, I'm due, man. What do you mean you can make a Butterfinger Blizzard at home that's just as good? Have we, has DIY culture gone too far? How the hell are you making a blizzard at home? Have you seen the, the proprietary machinery they use to make it? I'm not saying it's like a wonder of science. Like, it's obviously it's just some sort of like ice cream, but like, like what are you doing? <laughs> you just gotta put ice cream in a blender? No, oh, but you're not making your own ice cream? You know how easy it is to make your own ice cream? Oh, and you're not making your own Butterfinger either? Like, it's literally... I Here's the thing that people need to realize, okay? If, you're, if something is a treat, you don't necessarily have to go through making it at home. Because if you make it at home, if you're like, oh, I'm spending too much money at Dairy Queen, I'm gonna start making my own blizzards, you gotta stop eating so many fucking blizzards. You're gonna die. They're not good for you. Like, the problem is, is not that... The blizzard is too expensive. It's that you shouldn't be eating like three blizzards a week. You should be eating like one every six months when you find yourself at a Dairy Queen. After like a, a child softball game or something like that. You, as soon as you find yourself getting to the point where you're like, I need to cut back on my blizzard budget. I'm going to start making it in my own blender at home. That's like, you got to reevaluate your lifestyle choices, I think. It is cool to serve them to friends, though. I mean, I guess. I mean, I would if I went to one of my friends' houses and they were like, hey, do you want something to eat? And I was like, what do you got? And they said, I could make you a Dairy Queen Blizzard. I would be like, yeah, I'll have that. So you got me there. I can't really argue with that one. But like, as soon as somebody said, oh yeah, I, I make them at home to save money, I would be like, pump the brakes. Just got done watching a children's softball game. You know what that is? You know what that means? Tweets with, with threatening auras that are actually completely harmless. 